Uh, this weekend will be hot and dry, and that is why tomorrow is a first alert weather day. There is some concern always about fire danger. It has been weeks we know since we've seen any rain. Colorado would dry, and that means every day, well, everybody needs to do their part to prevent a fire. Michael Abeda is in Boulder visiting communities concerned about potential fires there, how they are working to stay fire safe. And First Alert Chief Meteorologist Dave Aguilera is in the First Alert Weather Center tonight. Dave, tomorrow is a First Alert Weather Day, and there are some areas that need to be careful tonight as well. Exactly right. Some parts of northern Colorado here. Tomorrow uh, we'll have the heat like we had today, but we're going to add in that front range fire danger here. Now, we kind of set the stage today. We got a little warmer than we were anticipating today. 87 was the old record, so we tied a 27 year old record today so the heat is getting things ramped up then tomorrow not only will we have the heat but we're going to tap into some of the stronger winds that are flowing around a really big high pressure ridge that is sitting into the Rockies right now so let's set the stage on the fire situation for tonight through 7 p.m. northern Colorado what you're talking about Jackson County into Larimer County here and the northeast corner has a red flag warning for the winds kicking up up that way about 30 mile per hour winds then tomorrow the front range mountains, foothills, the I-25 corridor, and the northeast get into the act. 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. tomorrow, we could have gusts of wind 30 to 40 mile per hour and really low humidity levels, so that's what we're watching for tomorrow. Wind, warmth, and dryness boost the fire threat, near record highs to kick off the weekend, and then after that, we have a prolonged stretch of unseasonably warm weather coming our way, so we may have to deal with this situation for quite some time. All right, Dave, we will stay tuned. We know you'll continue tracking the latest for us. Thank you. All right, let's head over to Michael Abeda. Michael, the weather, lovely to get outdoors, but we have to be super careful. Hey, you know, it's going to be a great weekend to get out and check out sites like this out here in Boulder County along the Peak to Peak Highway. But you got to remember that the conditions that will make this a beautiful day to come out and check this out tomorrow are also the same conditions that are perfect for fire. We're all in this together. Up and down the front range, sheriff's departments and fire departments are preparing for this weekend's weather. We um, have an additional level of monitoring through the weekend. Um, we're always monitoring, but we'll be paying particular attention this weekend. The National Weather Service has issued a red flag warning for most of the front range. That means from Boulder to Douglas County, it won't take much for a fire to start and officials are ready. Here in Douglas County, we have um, our own wildfire uh, fighting helicopter with a team that goes with that. Those individuals okay. are on every day, weekend or weekday. Uh, they're always monitoring, they're always watching, and we'll be launching our helicopter at the first sign of any kind of smoke. The humidity has been a lot lower. The weather has certainly been unseasonably warm, and we just want to remind people, don't be out there burning. Both Douglas and Boulder counties are in stage one fire restrictions, which means you can't have any sort of open flame anyway. But first responders say right now, anything can spark a tragedy. Don't start unintended campfires. Don't uh, create any sparks with equipment if you don't absolutely have to. Uh, be very careful with it because here's the deal. We start a fire, today's weather conditions being dry. If we have winds that pick up, it can move that fire very quickly. So while you're out leaf peeping or just enjoying the last bit of warm weather for a while, officials need your help keeping things under control. It's very important for us to all be in this as a community and make sure that we're doing our best to keep our county safe. Now, if you do come up here to the Peak to Peak Highway to check out gorgeous views like this tomorrow, the Sheriff's Department says to remember not to pull over on any kind of vegetation because that heat from underneath your car, that's enough on its own to start a wildfire. In Boulder County, Michael Aveta covering Colorado first. And an important reminder for everybody headed up there this weekend. Michael, thank you.